Oh, hey, people, real quick. I turned 55 this year. Do I look like I'm 55? Thank you. Yeah. Girlfriend was like, for real, you're 55? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, what you doing later? No. <laughs> no, I'm just serious. Anyway, um... <laughs> no, I'm 55, people. And I don't mind getting older. But the one thing that bothers me about birthdays is those family members and friends telling you how old you're getting like it's a bad thing. One of my sisters asked me, what you gonna do for your birthday? I said, you know what, sis? I'm always on the road performing. I ain't been out to a club dancing. I wanna go dance. She said, you? Dancing? You ain't 25 no more. You more than half of 100. You gonna hurt yourself. That hurt my feelings. I said, I know how old I am. I feel as good as I felt when I was 25, and I could do the same stuff right now that I did when I was 25. Yeah, I'd have let her know. So they took me out to a club to go dance, yes. And I found out I was no longer 25. <laughs> as soon as we get in the club, my sister started letting everybody know it's my birthday. So this young lady who was 25, come over, grab me by the hand, tell me, come on, it's your birthday, we about to dance. We get on the dance floor, we went out there five seconds, this girl dropped down, did a split, and popped back up. I'm like, oh no, you're not about to outdo me on my birthday. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. So now, I got to break it back down on her, let her know this is my day. But before I can make my move, cause I'ma go slow, cause I don't wanna pull nothing, I'm 55. <laughs> Everybody on the dance floor made a circle around us like it was a dance battle. <laughs> so they hyping me up, right? They're like, get a mic, get a mic, get it, get it, what, what? And I'm getting it, and I'm getting it. I messed around and got too low. <laughs> that right knee locked up. My right hand grabbed her leg, my left around her waist. She said, hold on, what you doing? I said, girl, I'm stuck, help me out. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> They go sit down, I'm too old for this. Because <laughs> your body changes as you get older. Like some of the guys that's in their 20s and 30s, it's gonna change. Yeah, you, I look good on the outside, but I got all kind of stuff that be hurting me all the time, yes. <laughs> yeah, man, because I actually thought I was going bald on the top in my 30s before I started shaving my head. I thought I was losing my hair. No! My hair is growing back down in my head. <laughs> Oh, it is, because I got more hair growing on my ears, nose, and my lower back than I've had in my life. <laughs> Fellas, how many of you got that patch of hair right here? You know what I'm saying? Anybody got that crack patch? Who got a crack patch? You got, stand up, let us see it. Let them know. Look at this girl, like, sit down. Nobody want to see that thing. You know, my nerves always showing that thing off. <laughs> That's when you go to the barber shop the next day. Uh, who's next? Me. Uh, what can I get you? Uh, let me get a butt cut. Take a little off. <laughs> then your body be hurting for no reason at all. When you was young, you could wake up late, get out of bed, boom. Yeah. You remember when you was 20? You wake up late for work, jump in your clothes, gotta go, wee, out the door. <laughs> in your 50s, you get out of bed in sections. <laughs> Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. When you first wake up, you gotta sit in the bed for 30 seconds and let the blood circulate down. <laughs> then you turn and put your feet on the floor another 30 seconds to let it go flow down to your knees and ankles. Then when you get up, you got to lean forward and put your hands on your knees to push up to your back. Then you gotta straighten up and rock backwards to get momentum to start walking. You look like you're doing a line dance. Hands on your knees, then to your back. Now take a step. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> and speaking of back, woo! Back pain ain't no problem. If anybody got back pain, you know what I'm talking about. The worst pain is that psychotic nerve. <laughs> Some of y'all know it is psychotic, sciatic? No. Man, mine is psychotic. That thing drove me crazy a couple years ago. I had to get those injections in my back. Yes. The, the, man, that needle was this big. I'm like, I don't care if it's this big. Stop this pain. That pain is unbearable. I won't wish that on nobody. That pain is no joke. For that psychotic nerve act up, it flares up with no warning. 
Because y'all know, people that got back pains, like you got to sneeze or cough, you can feel it coming. With this, nope, you be walking, then your butt just, just go numb and give out. You mad at your business, you just be walking, just stop. <laughs> okay. But like, we just had to go right there, so you not gonna move no more. <laughs> Then you gotta stretch. Stretching is good, stretching and yoga. So I found a way for me to get that, uh, when that nerve flare up, I could just do this, do, boom, do like this and sit on down. Yeah, it loosens it up. But I hate to do it in public because people see me and they be walking past me like, oh, there's plenty of seats over there. I'd be like, shut up, I'm a flamingo. I like doing this. <laughs> <laughs> then as you get older, your eyes start messing with you. You gotta deal with that. Yeah, because when you was young, you can read anything. You can read it extra close, too. When you get 20s, you was right here. Small stuff. When you get older, that changes. 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. When you get here, you ain't got no more arm. <laughs> now it's time for those readers. Me? Mm, I fought them readers. I was like, nope, I'm too young. I ain't getting them readers. No, nope. I refused to get them. Everything I couldn't read, I bought a selfie stick. Popped it on there, bam! There we go. All right. <laughs> good. <laughs> and the one bad thing about wearing readers is when you first start wearing them, you're not used to them. So you forget them. One day I had to go shopping. I'm running some errands. I got out. I could not read anything. I put my cell phone out. I'm taking pictures, blowing it up to look at it. <laughs> I got home. I had 75 pictures in my phone from the store. <laughs> Getting older. Like my man here. You know, how old are you if you don't mind me asking? 74. 74? You look really good. Give it up here. 74? Yes. I didn't, seriously, I did not think you were 74. I thought you was, you know, in your uh, 60s, like, you know, 62, 63. You look really good, man. That's special right there. Cool. Uh, who are you here with? Who are you here with? That's your wife? That's my girl. Ooh. <laughs> She's also my wife. Okay. <laughs> hey, he cleaned that up real quick, didn't he? <laughs> he was like, this is my girlfriend. Uh-oh, I might be in trouble. This is my wife, too. <laughs> <laughs> she never remember that tomorrow. <laughs> She's like, girlfriend, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but that's special right there, man. How long you all been married? 48 years. 48 years, congratulations. That's special. 48 years. Cool. Like I said, I like seeing that 48 years together, man, still sitting close together, shoulder to shoulder. That's real love there. Because most people have been married that long, the wife would be up here, the husband would be in the back, they don't even talk to each other, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they wouldn't even ride in the same car. Hey, you know what, I'll meet you at the club, just go. 